it's nice to have a tall friend help you when you're looking for something. This is the information center. And away we go. No hitchhiking allowed in the park. No hitchhiking. After reading the information board, we set out on our one and only drive in Lake Manara National Park. We were going to try to see as much of the 127 square mile park as we could. We of course were searching for leopards, but in this park we wanted to also look for the blue monkey. And just a few minutes into our drive, up high on the right side of our jeep, there was one, a blue monkey. But this one was somewhat hidden in the trees, so it wouldn't make a good example for me to show you. So we drove on. Well, as soon as this troop of baboons crossed the road. This park is also known for tree climbing lions, but I was told they are very hard to find this time of year. We entered the flatter part of the park, and without the shade cover of the forest, we felt the heat. Up ahead was one of the tallest drafts I'd ever seen. He made that jeep look like a toy car. Looking at its pattern, you can see that it was a Maasai giraffe. A large male like this could be around 18 feet tall and weigh well over a ton. Even though they are the most numerous of the nine giraffe subspecies, there are only an estimated 37,000 Maasai giraffe left in the wild. We enjoyed watching him for a while, but we had places to go, so we slowly drove on. With the kick that could kill a lion, you slowly go around. It was nice to sit for a while and enjoy a snack break before we continued our drive. Alright, time for a little picnic. Before picnic, we're going to search for the green mambas. This tree seems to be good. Mamba free. Some Simba chips, coke, and a skull. Around us, a group of warthogs, or known as a sounder of warthogs, walked around in this heat. Then again, our drive went to the birds. We'll start off with one of my favorites, a barbet. All kinds of birds in this park, from small to big. Speaking of big, as we looked at a bird guide to ID some of the birds, some elephants came alongside of us. It is very cool to just be feet away from a wild elephant. I used this opportunity to shoot some footage to be used on a short news report. The link for that report will be in this video's description below. We sat and observed this herd for close to an hour. It was an awesome time. After that, we came across a bush buck that had some hair loss around its neck. We made our way back into another forest section of the park to search again for the blue monkey. These baboons let us know that this was a good area for primates. The trees provided such excellent shade from all that hot sun. We drove on and on. And our travels were soon rewarded, as there it was, in good clear view the blue monkey. These old world primates love the forest canopy. It was nice to be able to video them without tree branches in the way. Now they will live high up in the trees and eat fruits and leaves, but this one had no problem hanging down on the ground, pulling down some smaller branches to enjoy some lunch. It's always exciting to cross off another species to the list of animals I've seen in the wild. Nice to meet you blue monkeys. On our way out of the park, we came across this hippo skeleton, and we stopped for one last bird, a crowned hornbill.
After a short 15 minute drive outside the park, we were at the most luxurious lodge of our safari, the Country Lodge, a perfect place to recharge as we still had a long way to go on our trip. The trees near the main hall were filled with lovebirds. The actual birds, not romantic people hang, well, you know. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Safari Tanzania. For more information on the items featured in this video, please read this video's description. And as always, thanks for watching.